guys and welcome to the Evenos YouTube channel. So as I always say before I start any of my videos and I get into the depth of it, if you are new here definitely consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. I talk about everything to do with building digital product businesses, how to make a full time income from it, how to make extra income from it and all of my experiences with doing this myself. So you guys get to see behind the scenes of how just an everyday person builds digital product income. So in honour of that today I want to talk to you about how you can start building your digital product income faster than I personally did. My personal kind of top three tips and tricks that I would do again if I was to start my journey of building my digital product business because I wanted to build extra income, make additional income, which I think is really, really important in this day and age that we're in now. I think everybody personally should have digital product income streams. So I wanted to basically talk to you about three of my top things that I would do again if I was building my business from scratch. Before I start, I definitely want to say hold on to the end of the video because at the end of the video, I'm going to be talking about the most important tip, the thing that if I could do again, I would make sure that I had this kind of unlock before I started building my own digital product businesses. But the first two are super, super important as well and things I would never recommend that you skip now that I know and have experienced this myself. So the first biggest tip that I would give to somebody who is building a digital product business from scratch as a pretty much beginner so you don't have tons of experience is I would focus on creating digital products that already have an audience for them. Now I just want to clarify what I mean by that. So what I mean is a lot of the time when people think about starting a digital product business and decide what digital product they want to create, they usually start by thinking about what they would just love to do, what digital product they would think would be really helpful for them, what they've always wanted to see out. And I think that that is a really great ethos that a lot of people say is like create the thing that you would want. And I love that idea, but I have personally, just as a small creator, tried that method method of creating things that I just wanted and I just thought were lovely and I just thought were great and as wonderful as it can be to create things that you love you really really hit a wall fairly quickly when you realize that if you have not been building an audience for that product if you have not confirmed that that is a product that other people want to purchase too so often you end up coming up against the issue of you have this product and you cannot get anybody to purchase it. And I have had this experience myself numerous times. I'm a coach as well, so I've taught a lot of people who come in to build a digital product business already with an idea in mind or even more I've got the actual product ready to go and they are having that endless problem of like I cannot sell this to anybody nobody is buying my product and you may have experienced that yourself if you've gone down this route what I learned along the way and I love on my YouTube channel to share with you guys kind of what things I have picked up that have really helped me make my income and build my sales and obviously my extra income online. It's so important to validate your digital product idea before you go into the depth of creating the product, setting up the platform and starting to make income from it. Now, I go into so much more about this inside of my training program that I have. I'm gonna to talk to you guys a little bit about that because it's the place that I have created to help people step by step with setting up and creating their own digital products and actually making income from them. But in short, validating your digital product idea is something that so many people don't do and it is a huge mistake. What it means is that before we start creating the digital product, we go out onto social media, we go out onto platforms, we go out onto any existing audience that we have. And I again teach you exactly how to do this inside of the training courses. And we go and we make sure that there is an audience for our digital product. Now this does not just consist, contrary to what you see on YouTube channels and, and all of the information around, this doesn't just consist of just Googling it and checking if this is something that people are interested in reading in a blog post or a YouTube video. It goes so much deeper than that because what we actually want to be doing is starting to grow that audience for our product before we release it. And what's when we want to have a place where we can contact that audience when we release our product. Now, that might sound really difficult, but I promise you it really, really isn't. It's a really kind of linear, smooth process that you do. But 
with me doing this, I have gone on to make income from digital products. And what's more, I have known that I'm going to make income by the time that I'm ready to launch that product, release that product. For example, I just wanted to show you one of the products that I did this exact method with that I teach, that I teach inside of my training courses. I did this with my art printables on Etsy course. It's now gone on to make me over $112,000 in revenue. I also just wanted to kind of show you another example of a digital product that I validated this idea beforehand and then it's gone on so far this year to make me over 7,800 gross volume and honestly I cannot reiterate enough this step when it comes to building a digital product business this is why quite a lot of my training course that I have is very very dedicated to making sure that you are building that audience you know exactly who you're going to sell to you've done all your due diligence before you create that product so that when you launch it or when you put it out there it's so much easier to sell it so I just wanted to kind of share that with you because I think that's such an important step to take to make sure that you bypass all the rubbish and you actually start creating a product that can sell the next big tip that I would massively recommend anybody who's thinking about creating a digital product kind of comes from my experience but also with working with people who have building their own digital product businesses. See that so many people jump into building a digital product business with no real idea in mind of what they want to achieve and what they want to do. And it is so important to have a clear cut goal to what you want and most importantly, the income that you want to achieve through the digital products that you create. The reason why I recommend this, the reason why the old version of me who started building digital products should have really known this before I started building is because you can spend so much time building the wrong digital products for the amount of income that you want to create, for the time that you wanna spend on that business because lots of people wanna build digital product businesses to help them reduce the amount of time that they are working but also continue to bring in income. And a mistake that I didn't realize at the beginning is that not all digital products are created equal when it comes to the amount of time and energy that you have to invest in them in order to be able to create a certain amount of income that you want. Some digital products are so much easier to create and have a you know a bigger return on them. Other digital products are a lot more high maintenance. And I think this is something that so many people don't think about, let alone research into before they build a digital product. And I say a lot of people, I include me, because when I created my first couple of digital products, I made the mistake of not thinking through whether this was the right project, the right business model for me. And unfortunately, I had to let those businesses go. I made, you know, a lot of mistakes where I was building businesses that were just totally wrong for the lifestyle that I had. They were way too high maintenance, they were way too hard work, they were way too much selling and promoting that just didn't feel right for me. And it wasn't until I eventually went on to create the products that were actually right for me and that I absolutely love that I went on to create the kind of income that I show you now. Now, that's not to say that I didn't make income from the projects that were not right for me in the end, but I just could not sustain it long term because it was not the right type of business for me. So this is why I want to reiterate the importance of setting clear goals for where you want your digital product business to be, how much income you want it to create, how much time and energy you want to be putting in into it per month. And then something that I go in depth with inside of my training program is we talk about what digital products would be the right ones for you to actually achieve your income goals the fastest as possible, the easiest as possible. Now, obviously every digital product business is a business, so it's gonna take time and energy. That just is the way of building a business, but you can make it so much easier for yourself and 10 times faster to reach the income goals that you want to hit by picking the right business, picking something that works best for you, and then just focusing on building it. And finally, the last big tip that I have, go and find support, the right resources, the right tool to help you build this type of business. Because you can spend days, weeks, months, if not years, running around virtually online, trying to gather free information, free help, free support, that's half the information, or it's kind of a bit empty information sometimes, that doesn't actually just get down to the nitty gritty steps that you need to take to build your business. It doesn't give you a clear strategy, and that in reality is what you need to get past the hurdle and just build your business so much faster, make that income so much quicker. As soon as I started to put my focus into those 
things that I actually got the real support that helped me take off and build my businesses and know exactly what I was doing that helped me go on to make the income that I make and not only that but make me confident in building digital products which is a big part of it as well right now we are in a time when extra income additional income is absolutely key we need it we need to boost up our savings we need to be able to pay our bills and that's why as much as I can I want to share as I've always done on my YouTube channel as I've always done on my other courses I want to share as much as possible how you can build a digital product yourself because it's really not as hard as sometimes it feels when you're just trying to learn through YouTube videos and blog posts and bits and scraps that you find online so I basically have my own program which is my even those office training program and it teaches you how to create and sell digital products it's completely beginner friendly so if you are completely new to creating and selling digital products this is the perfect training program for you and when you purchase it you get a year access inside of the Evenos office and that comes with so many self-paced video tutorials that take you step by step through goal setting and helping you figure out what type of digital product you want to create exactly as we were talking about to learning about your target audience learning exactly how to create the exact digital products that you want to create whether that's on Canva or Teachable or Mighty Networks however you want to create your own digital product I also talk about exactly how to launch those products to build your audience in advance and validate those products beforehand so you know that people are going to purchase your products as soon as you create them so you're not wasting your time creating products that are never going to make sales I also talk about my exact strategy that I use to help me create hundreds of thousands in digital product income through my social media, through different platforms, through video content. There are so many super helpful resources inside of my training course. They're all video tutorials as well. So you can sit back, you can watch them, you can listen to them if that works better for you. And it's all completely self-paced. You can go at your own pace throughout the entire year and just focus on building your digital product business. Also, in addition to all of the self-paced video tutorials, you get a year's worth of interactive one-to-ones with me so we use the chat feature and basically you ask me any questions that you have along the way I am your personal coach I am there to help support you every step of the way so as you work through the training courses and the video tutorials you can reach out to me inside of the chat feature that I have inside of my training which makes it even more than just a course that you're purchasing because you literally have one-to-one contact with me so you can message me whenever you want I create video tutorials to help you with any questions that you have we have one-to-one chats on there it's super super awesome to be able to actually coach the people who come inside of my training program rather than just kind of watch them from afar going through the content and on top of that as well we also have a community so that we're all staying engaged as we focus on building our digital product businesses so it's a one and done purchase for the whole year and you get full access to me you get access to all of the training content and even more each month I add additional content inside of the office as well so you get to learn even more about how I'm building my businesses what I'm I'm doing how the online world is changing as you grow your business so you don't miss a beat on anything so that is my training course I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about mine but really this point above everything else even if my training course is not the right one for you and you want to go and find another one that's totally fine because the main premise of this point is if I was to do it again and right from the start this time because it took me several months into my business to start to take seriously how important having a mentor having coaching having support having resources is to skyrocketing your business and your income a lot lot faster what I would always recommend now is right from the beginning when you think I'm ready to build my digital product business I want to take this seriously go and get support and help find somebody that you love the way that they teach you really like how they put things in place and you can understand it and go and get their support and help. I think the best thing that you can do for yourself when you want to build extra income from creating and selling digital products is to go and find a mentor and go and find their resources and get that help. It just cuts out all of the rubbish, all of the emptiness that takes away months of you working on a business and so much frustration. And it just allows you to get straight down to the point of getting everything set up, getting your goals organized, validating your digital products, and then starting to make sales. Even if I'm not the one for you, that is totally fine. I just want you to go and find the right help, the right person who can get you off the starting hurdle or if you're stuck somewhere can get you past and over that hurdle and get you growing your business and your income because truly it is life-changing to be able to create income 
from your laptop. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, definitely think about giving it a thumbs up because it really helps my channel grow. It's really lovely to see so many new subscribers that I'm getting on my YouTube channel as well. So if you want to, definitely think about being a subscriber. And I'll leave the link to my training course underneath this video so you can join, you can hop in, and you can get started building your digital products and selling your digital products with me. But either way, I highly recommend going and finding somebody that you absolutely love taking their courses, getting their help, and just getting building this type of digital product income because it is absolutely amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Bye.